suggestion uh, that we might put forward as a way of making our streets safer and increasing the security of the Olympics would be not to put missiles into Tower Hamlets, but to take our missiles out of Afghanistan, stop threatening countries around the world with uh, further military action. And on that note, I'm very pleased to introduce Lindsay German, who's the convener of the Stop the War Coalition, which is one of the organisations which is backing this campaign at a national level. Lindsay. Thanks very much and congratulations for it to everybody who's built this campaign and who's out here demonstrating and marching today. When I first heard this news, I was absolutely horrified that they would put missiles on top of blocks of flats where people live, next to primary schools, next to communities, in the middle of an area which has some of the most overcrowding of anywhere in London which suffered terribly during the Second World War. Tower Hamlets was the first, worst affected borough in the whole of London because of the Blitz and suffered rockets repeatedly as a result of the Second World War. And it's absolutely horrifying to think that these people are considering doing it again. I cannot understand what the threat is supposed to be that justifies surface to air missiles being on top of residential blocks of flats. There is already a no-fly zone over London during the Olympics. That should be enough to stop anybody attacking by air. And if these missiles go off, if they're used deliberately or accidentally, they will have horrific consequences for the local people, not just in Tower Hamlets, but across the whole of East London. And therefore we have to say we do not want these missiles here, they have to be stopped. And that is the message we want to put across loud and clear this afternoon. But there are two other things I want to say. Why are they using these missiles? Why are they sighting them? Why are they pretending that they're here to protect us? Is it because in future they want to be able to use missiles and tanks on the streets without having opposition from the general public? Is this a kind of softening up process which actually means we'll see more and more military on the streets of London and on the streets of Britain? Because that is something that we have to oppose. The final points I'd like to make are these. You will have a terrorist threat in Britain as long as there are wars in Afghanistan, in Iraq and the threatened wars in Syria and in Iran. If we want to make London a safer place, then let's get the troops out now. That is the message we should be sending to our government. The final point has been made by previous speakers is this. The cost of the Olympics, £9 billion. The cost of the policing and missiles and security, millions if not billions more pounds. How is it we live in one of the richest countries in the world which is closing libraries which is closing schools, which is closing hospitals, but cannot find the money for our welfare services while it finds money for weapons of war. We have to fight to change this government's priorities and to end the austerity which is breeding more wars. Thank you very much. Thanks very much for that, Lindsay.